hello friends welcome to my channel once again and uh, I, I just would like to say sorry that uh, I could not upload videos that frequently on this channel because I was busy uploading videos for my other channel uh, which is a completely different channel uh, that is about bodybuilding uh, the name of that channel is SH Framework if you want you can just uh, check it out if you are a bodybuilding fan or if you are a fan of a bodybuilder by the way uh, today we'll be talking about a problem with touch screen computers uh, I have seen people purchase uh, a touch screen computer but they don't use it and after a certain period of time what happens uh, they face a known problem that is called ghost touching problem and I, I, I mean I would say uh, as the name says ghost touching so you'll experience uh, on your computer screen the mouse pointer will jump and you will see bubbles like how how you touch your screen and your screen senses that something is happening somebody is touching the screen so when you touch the screen it makes a circle so same way you see those circles those bubbles while you're doing something you're clicking on something and you will end up clicking on something else so that exact that is what happens in that problem so I mean technically there might be resolution but uh, like I uh, there are people they can uninstall and reinstall the driver for touch screen and how you can do that that is from the manufacturer's website like if you have an HP computer you can go to their support website or if you have a, a Dell computer you can go to their support website uh, the website it would be very easy to find uh, respective webs uh, manufacturers support website you just type support dot hp dot com or support dot dell dot com or you can even look on their you can go to their website and click on the support section at the top you will be able to find it they may require your computer information like the serial number or product number in case of HP and a service tag number in case of Dell so provide the appropriate information and you'll be able to reach their uh, support website and there will be a long list of drivers you can install drivers or like if you really if you don't want to use the touch screen as I was saying in the beginning of this video people don't even use touch screen uh, functionality of a computer but since they have a touch screen computer after a certain period of time the problem occurs I would not say that it will happen or it happens on every touch screen computer but when there is a problem like that when you see something is happening on the computer without even touching it without even doing anything that is called a ghost ghost touching problem I have found one video so I can show you what exactly I'm talking about what is ghost touching so there are several videos but uh, we'll be looking at this one because this one has now do you see at the right hand side there are some bubbles appearing it is nothing but she has a touch screen computer and it has gone bad so the only resolution for this problem is either driver update for the touch screen computer or I mean I don't think that will work she may need to get this laptop repaired from the manufacturer 
and you know if it is out of warranty it may cost you about three hundred dollars so the best way is to simply disable the touch screen functionality now she is explaining uh, how it creates a problem while you are doing something thing happens automatically you click on something something else opens up so that's how it creates a problem for you so I'll show you how you can fix that problem yourself by simply disabling the touch screen functionality uh, like uh, in any computer let it be Windows 7 I mean in, in this case I have Windows 7 computer I can create another video on Windows 10 computer also which uh, it will be same uh, you can for Windows 7 computer user you can click start and in the search you can type device manager and when you see device manager in the list click on that the device manager will open up my computer does not have a touch screen functionality so I will not have that particular option but you will have that option if your computer is a touch screen computer and that option will be listed in human interface devices I only have these options but I have a picture I'll show you okay so if you can see the screen that's how it will look like I will okay yeah so if you click on that triangle which is at the left hand side which is far left this is the triangle I'm talking about if you click this triangle it will get expanded and you will see things listed in there so if you have a touch screen computer you will have HID dash compliant touch screen you need to just right click on that you click disable you click yes so you get it you get a down arrow like that that means this particular functionality or device of your computer has been disabled it will be there but you will not be able to use it if you want to use it in future you can enable it and it will start working the reason I'm showing you can uh, I'm saying you can enable it because this way you can enable or disable other devices also like your mouse monitor network so once you are done disabling the device you can simply close the device manager and that's it you will not see anything happening on your screen on its own and you will not even face the problem of cursor jumping from one place to another place well that's it in this video keep watching and please subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed yet will be uploading more videos it really gets difficult for me to come up with a topic so I would appreciate if you give me a topic so I will create a video on that topic well thank you very much for watching and you have a great day bye bye